Okay, this is my vision. Imagine a classic Legend of Zelda dungeon with puzzles, enemies and a bit of platforming, but your character can do parkour. Or you explore an open world in which you can make countless discoveries by using your movement mechanics in creative ways. Cool movement mechanics, if implemented well, give players a really good feeling. They feel superior. They feel ahead of all adversaries. How cool it is, not only to simply crush an enemy, but to dance with it, to play tricks on it, to always be one step ahead of it. This is my vision for my game Velkin, for the entire game world and especially for the combat system. As you can see, I've already implemented a few basics. Wall jumps, ledge grabbing, dodge rolling, crawling. I could also imagine something like jumping over enemies or sliding down a hill. This is how wall jumps work in my game. If the character has gained enough velocity, is jumping before reaching the jump apex, and there's a wall parallel to them, a wall jump can be performed by repeatedly pressing the jump button. Jumps and wall jumps are meant to be fun and don't give the player any invincibility frames, so they won't cost any stamina. Here you can see the sensors that check whether the character is close enough to and almost parallel to a wall. Ledge grabbing also works via sensors and various additional checks. The condition for ledge grabbing is that the character is not grounded and that there's a wall in front of them with a reachable edge. I can recognize the edge using a number of so-called ray casts. These are rays that are shot from a specific point in 3D space in a defined direction, sometimes with a specific maximum length. When a ray collides with an object, I get the exact point of the collision. Once I've received several of these points of information, I can check where the edge is located and whether the character has enough space to stand after climbing. Climbing doesn't require any stamina as well. However, what will consume stamina is dodge rolling. I'm not sure yet whether dodge rolling will simply make the character's hitbox smaller or just giving the player a few iframes. I'd be interested in your opinion here. Should dodge rolling grant iframes? Or do you guys have another idea? In the next and last video of the character controller series, I will explain more about combat and dodge rolling. Is there anything specific you'd like to know? Then let me know in the comments. That's it for today's video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more interesting videos about game development and my game Vulcan in the future. Please also wishlist Vulcan on Steam. Nowadays small developers like me hardly have a chance to achieve proper visibility for their game. Every wishlist counts. Thank you guys so much and see you in the next video, bye bye.